This is the National Treasure, the real world's champion, Nick Aldis, and you're watching AJWF. Like and subscribe. Are you watching AJWF? So we've been sent over from Shella Toys the Nick Aldis retro figure. This thing looks just like the Hasbro's back in the day. The box art, everything about it is pretty cool. I was undecided whether or not we should even open it, but they sent it me, so we'll do it. And the proof was in the pudding when this month's Wrestle Box crate came through and we got another one through. So yeah, no questions at all. We will open one of them. Let's have a look at it. If we just look at these pictures of Nick Aldis making his way to the ring, uh, this is what the gear is based on for the retro figure. So let's get this thing open. And the only gripe I've got, if you look in the four corners of the figure, I don't know if it'll show up on camera, but the glue looks like it's coming away from the packaging a little. Uh, might just be this one, but hey, here we go. Just as we get this thing off the card, just to mention the card is really thick, so it's really strong. So damage limitation, maybe. Well, onto the figure. Looks good. Nick Aldis, the attire looks great. Look at the articulation, got the arms that move, head turns. It's a nice figure. Just a quick look at the back of the trunks. It's got the dealer on the back. I'll do a few pictures in a minute uh, so you can see the kind of detail on it. So as mentioned earlier, the articulation on this figure, uh, both arms go up and down separately, the head swivels left to right, as you'd expect. Uh, the only probably difference from the old retro style Hasbro's is the waist. No articulation there, it doesn't move at all. It's purely the head and arms that move. And of course there's no spring kind of articulation like the Hasbro's back in the day. So what we'll do is just put him down there and I'll grab an old style Hasbro. We'll pick the Macho Man because it's a similar kind of body style to the Nick Aldis. And we can compare the two. I'll put some pictures up just after this video just so you can see the comparison as well. As you can see here, the size, uh, the scale, they're pretty much the same as each other. The only difference is the uh, Nick Aldis the feet are very small. Random point, but you'll see what I mean. And here I'll just grab the Jeff Hardy, the newer Mattel retro style figure. And just so you can see the kind of comparison between that and Nick Aldis as well. Here you can see them. If I put them side by side, the scale again, it's pretty much on par. They could all go in the same fed. Now, if I just grab this belt that came in the WrestleBox crate with the Nick Aldis figure this month, uh, we'll see what it looks like on the figure. It's from WrestlingCustoms247.co.uk if you did want to get one. And as you can see here, scale's nice. And I'll just whack a picture of the business card up just so you can see where it's from if you're interested. And I'll also put a link in the description as well. Also, a big shout out to these guys. They did me a custom internet title for my Mac Cardona figure. Uh, here, I'm gonna put it on the retro just so you can see what it looks like, but eventually it's gonna be for my custom Mattel Mac Cardona figure. Wanted to get this belt done, uh, not only because it was the start of the new era from Mac Cardona dropping the Zack Ryder gimmick, but as you can see in this picture, it's featured in his first eight by 10 that I got signed by him. And yeah, I'm very impressed, so thank you to Wrestling Customs 24-7. Also, while we're on the theme of wrestling belts, 
uh, he managed to get these major wrestling figure podcast ones. Both sets popped up on wrestlebox.co.uk. Saw them, grabbed them quickly. Good prices and really quick shipping. So thank you very much for that because I did not pull the trigger when they first got released. So I appreciate these. So again, a big thank you to Cella Toys for dropping this Nick Aldis figure to me. Uh, yeah, I'm a small channel, but I appreciate that you wanted me to drop a quick review. Links in the description if you want to pick one up. So finally, I'm just going to stick up some pictures now of the Nick Aldis figure alongside the uh, Hasbro figure from the 90s, just so you can see the kind of scale and any differences. If you are on the fence, you know, I would recommend buying it. I think it's a good figure, good price, and I'm sure they're going to make a lot more. <laughs>